Welcome to Magix Video Pro X. The startup screen will load after the program is launched. You can open existing projects or start a new project here. The option Automatically Generate Proxy Files converts high-resolution files into smaller formats. This makes the editing process much smoother. This option will not affect the export process as the original files will be used when you export your project. You can use the media pool to import video files and other media. You'll also be able to access effects, templates, and additional audio material here, as well as the store. Start a project by importing your videos. Click the little preview arrow in the media pool to preview the file. The preview will appear on the source monitor on the right. If you want to use the file, drag and drop it into the project window. You can play back the media in the project window using the transport controls. The project will be displayed in the project monitor on the left. All imported files are automatically listed in the project temp folder. You can access all project files at any time from here. The video clips now appear in the timeline as objects and can be edited there. You can magnify the view using the zoom buttons. Place the playback marker on the cut position. To make a cut at this position, click on the scissors icon in the toolbar. This creates two separate objects. To remove an object, select it by clicking on it and press the delete key on your keyboard. To edit the beginning or end of an object with the mouse, move the mouse over the edge of the object. The mouse pointer will turn into a double arrow. You can now compress or stretch the object. To cut the image track and audio track separately, create separate audio objects for the audio track. The audio objects appear on the track under the image track. Hold down the ALT key to trim the image track and audio track separately. When you are finished making your edits, select the mouse mode for single track in the toolbar and close all the gaps. To do this, simply move the back part of an object to the front part. The Effects tab in the Media Pool contains the features for image optimization. Switching to the Effects tab activates the Source Monitor. The unedited material appears here. The Project Monitor on the left displays the edited video. This lets you see the effect in action. To remove the effect from your edited video, click the double arrow in the Effects dialog. You can also optimize the audio in your video. To do this, create a separate audio track. The waveform display indicates sections of the video where sound is audible. And play with Jeff Beck. You did also some um, a lot of shows uh, with the singer of. You can optimize the audio material using audio cleaning functions. I can't do that. See, come on, you can do that. An equalizer allows you to increase or decrease ambient noise and improve the clarity of speech, among other things. In his, um, in his house, in this beautiful house that he's got. For additional background music, load a music file. To the studio, and there was this green strap. Use the mixer to achieve the right volume balance for the audio track. Change the position in the stereo spectrum using the panorama controller. Played the solo one, and I knew straight away who it was. So I sort of hung around for a little bit. Jeff Beck came with this bag. 
To give your project a title, place the playback marker at the desired position and click on the T button in the toolbar. Now, enter a title. Position the title in the program monitor. Simply drag it to the new position. You can adjust font size directly in the project monitor. You can change the font type, font color, and other aspects using the title editor. Title templates may also be used. The Templates tab contains a wide range of professional title templates, which come with their own presets. To use a title template, drag it into the track and add title text. Once you've finished editing your film, you can export it. All available formats are located in the File menu. Click on the format you want. Choosing one of the presets is sufficient for most projects. However, you can also adjust the settings if you like. Next, select a place to save your film and a file name and click OK to start the export. You can also burn your movie to DVD or Blu-ray disc. To do this, click on the disc icon in the upper right area. The menu templates are located on the lower edge of the screen. Double-click a template to load it for your menu. You can test how the menu behaves by using the remote control. Once you're satisfied with your menu, you can burn your disc. Or you can modify the menu first, if necessary. Switch to the Editing view to do this. Here, you can modify the disk title, for instance, or the preview images. When you've finished designing the menu, open the Burn dialog, select the type of disk which you would like to burn, and then Start the burning.